What's going on YouTube? This is Reed from DIY Reed. Today I'm going to show you my home automation system at my new house. I know I've done a video before at my old house. Now it's time to show you my new house. I've added more items to my home automation stable. First off, I wanted to get into why I chose SmartThings for my home automation hub. For one, it integrates with a bunch of different sensors like Z-Wave, Zigbee, you name it. it. They have a list on their website at smartthings.com all the sensors they, get, they integrate with. They even integrate with things that aren't on that website. You just kind of go through their community and check up on their forms. The community is great there. They can explain how to do things. They even write their own little apps on automations that go on. I use quite a few of them. We'll go through a few of those in this video. Uh, another reason why is it was probably the best priced and the most expandable one that I could find and easy to use. Uh, biggest thing is an Android app or an iPhone app. What's really nice about the SmartThings Hub is you can have a bunch of different programs running. You can get alerts, like I have an alert that alerts me when my garage door opens. I've got a sensor on my garage door. But as soon as it opens up, it sends me a push notification to my phone, my wife's phone saying, hey, your garage door just opened. I also have a door lock with a keypad. So I have a bunch of things in there for I have my own code from, for myself and my wife. My wife's family has their own code. My family has their own code. And even if I want to get down to nitty gritty, I can give one to our, my friends. And it'll alert me based on the code, hey, so-and-so unlocked your door. So that's a really nice feature. You can even go down to the point of, say you had a cleaning lady come in. Uh, the cleaning lady's coming on t Tuesday from between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m every other week. You could have that only activate between those times. You can even do a burner code. So say I had a friend that was like, I need to get in your house for something real quick. So I can go ahead and text them the, the new code that I gave them. And as soon as they use that to unlock my door, it burns it so that once they lock the door, it's done. They can't use it again. I have a water sensor in my sump pump basin. So that way, if the water level ever gets too high where my sump pump quits, it'll alert me that it's getting overfilled and it gets wet. I have a GE light switch that's really nice. It turns on my outside lights. I have it turned on at sunset and then I have it turned off at sunrise. So that's super nice because I don't have to deal with any of my outside lights. Uh, so if it's dark outside and I come home, the lights are already on. If we're on vacation, the lights come on and turn off when they're supposed to be. I can even set it to be like 20 minutes before sunset and 20 minutes after sunrise if I want to get down to that. It's that's it's great. It's a nice function. It's a nice feature. I have a few door sensors so I can tell when a door opens. One really cool feature is if you have kids, I saw this on the forums. If you have kids, someone put their uh, Z-Wave sensor, door sensor on a on the freezer. They were having problems with the kids would go down there to the freezer and get some stuff out of the freezer and then leave the freezer door open. So that guy made it so that it alerts them if the freezer door is open for more than five minutes. So this system can do a lot of things and expands beyond belief. I can't believe it. I also have motion sensors. I have one in the kitchen and I have one in the basement. Uh, those are the high traffic areas. So if you come to my house, unless you break in through the second floor, I'll be alerted if there's motions in the living room or if there's motion in the basement. So another thing is the security factor of this. The big security factor about this is as soon as I leave the house and my wife leaves the house, our phones act as a presence sensor. So it goes off GPS. So if we're both gone, it locks and arms the house. So it automatically locks my front door if it's not locked. Uh, it alerts me if my garage door is still open and, or any other door that I have in the house, so my back door. And as soon as it senses motion or if a door opens or a door unlocks, it'll alert us and say, hey, there's a, there's a problem. Another thing that's really nice is they sell little presence sensors that you can buy on Amazon. So that way, when, when our daughter gets a certain age that she can leave the house and come, come back home from school or so, it'll, instead of having a phone on her, she can use that as a present sensor. So it'll alert us, hey, our daughter has come home, or hey, our daughter left the house. Yeah, I know, big brother, huh? I also have outlet switches. I don't have any set up right now, but I'll show you them right now. So I use these so that during Christmas time, everybody loves Christmas time. Well, our automation during Christmas time is awesome. So obviously our outside lights, our Christmas lights turn on at sunset and they turn off about two or three hours before sunrise. And then when those turn off, they go ahead and turn the outside lights on 
for safety. Now also another thing is we put in two Christmas trees at our house and we've got some lights that let go over top of our mantle on our, on our fireplace. My wife has a little village with a bunch of lights, Christmas village, and uh, so we go ahead and have those turn on and off with automation. So we get a little bit particular on that one. I don't want it on when it's dark out and I'm not home. So if no one's home, I don't want that stuff on. I, I just get a little bit uh, scared about fire or anything. You never know with these Christmas trees. So what I did is, so as soon as it senses motion, after sunset turns on all those outlets. Now, it turns them all off at 10 p.m. We go to bed about 10 p.m. We don't need them on after 10 p.m. So it turns them off at 10 p.m. One thing I did change this year, well, I'm going to change this year, since it's not Christmas yet, is I'm going ahead and do turn them off at sunset minus uh, probably three or four, or four or five hours. That way that time changes, so that way, if someone's watching the house or whatever, they don't they don't like a home alone where he's like, oh, at 10.05 and the lights go off. So that way it changes every day due to sunrise. So other than that, that is basically the gist of my home automation setup currently. Now, I'm always looking to add to it. There's so many different things you can do. I'm gonna eventually grow my home automation setup. I'll keep you guys informed. I definitely wanna do some more videos on different installations. I did do the GE light switch installation. I wish I would've got that on video. It was a little bit complicated. I know it's probably searched about a lot. Uh, it wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be, but I'll go ahead when I buy another one, I'll go ahead and film it for you guys. It's not too bad. One thing I also wanna get invested into is the blinds. So our living room is backed up to the sun. So the sun, when it rises, it goes through the living room windows. So what I really want to do is, as soon as sunset happens, I want the living room windows, the blinds to open up if we're home. Um, I haven't looked into that yet, but they do have some cool set setups. Uh, Z-Wave has quite a few, and I'm excited to try those out. I'd love to chat with you. I'm a real social guy. So go ahead and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at the DIY Read. And leave me a comment down below if you have any questions about what I went over. Share with myself and my other viewers what your home automation system consists of or anything that you enjoy about your home automation system. Hit the like button if you really like the video and go ahead and subscribe for videos like this. I promise you I'm going to start uploading videos more and more. I'm trying to devote more time to this. I really want to hear from you guys. One last thing, I purchased everything that I have with my own money but I'd also like to thank Smart Things and Z-Wave for their support. Uh, Z-Wave is going to have a blog about everything that I've, had, I've kind of discussed here and a little bit more about my home automation system and how I grew to what I wanted to do with my house and the, the automation setup. So look for that on Z-Wave's website. Other than that, see you later.